Hello guys, I have a tamarind punch recipe that I'm gonna make for you guys and it's enjoyed by many in my country. Now let me be truthful and tell you guys that this punch is going to make you make a lot of noise. Yes. And it's only made from three Indians excluding the water. If you want to see how I made this tamarind punch, keep watching. Hey guys, I accidentally um, deleted the first clip for this video, but I'm going to ask you please to go to the tamarind balls video to look at what the tamarind in the shell looks like and what you have to do to remove the tamarind from the shell to get it to this stage where you put it in a bowl with some water and a little bit of sugar and let it soak for about a day and then you're gonna get your whisk you can use a fork or use your hands I chose to use a whisk to get away the the pulp because by this time it's very soft it's waterlogged and you can look and see what it's supposed to look like when it's almost done I'm almost done going um, getting rid of the good stuff from the seeds okay so let's now see what I do next what I'm doing there now guys I'm straining the seeds and the pulp from the um, liquid and it's going to be such a very tasty punch guys and remember that I added a little bit of sugar to that mixture already so when I'm done straining all I'm going to do again is just taste to see if I just need to top up on the on the sugar and you want to strain it you're going to use a spoon there to help you to get the nice brown delicious mixture through that sieve you can use a bigger sieve um, but I prefer to get it like really nice and smooth and that is what it's supposed to look like with the seeds So you have some of the seeds removed from the pulp and some of the pulp is even still on the seed, but it's okay It's all good. We have done our best to remove the good portion Okay, and now I'm going to taste for sugar and as always guys this is as per your taste so if you feel that you can drink it without sugar remember it's very tangy I wouldn't recommend that but if you feel you can have it without sugar by all means have it without the sugar if you want to add some honey you can add your honey but guess what I love me my brown sugar yes I do so it tasted like it needed a little bit more but you know what? In all actuality, it really didn't. But that's me with tamarind and all that. But anyways, that's the way it's supposed to look when you're done with the straining and the sweetening and everything. And now it's time to pour all of that good stuff into your desired drinking vessel and I chose that particular glass because I wanted you to see exactly what I'm doing and there's something that I'm going to add that's going to change the whole texture and taste of this liquid brown gold yes it's gonna be so so good I cannot wait And there is a reason why I chose a bigger glass um, compared to the liquid that's in the, the glass and take note of that line there of where it is because when I'm done adding that ingredient it's gonna change it's gonna get more okay I have now some bicarbonate of soda or baking soda and you're gonna add this just a little at a time this is like about five pinch um, pinches of um, uh, baking soda and there's a reason why you add it that way because 
you're gonna see closer to the end of the video exactly how it reacts and look you see how it's changing the texture the composition of the the tamarind liquid okay look at that you see it's starting to change just a tad and then i'm gonna add a little bit more and you're gonna see how it further changes so i added about five pinches more and look at it and you're gonna mix it look at it now do you see it's changing it's getting like a frotty um thing on top like almost like a bear yes and you can add um the baking soda to your likeness you can choose not to add it as well as you just can add a five pinch or ten pinches of it or you can add more like i did because i tend to kind of like it that way but i don't like it when it has too much of the baking soda in there because it really compromises the true taste and character of the um the tamarind yes yeah, so you just add a, just a little bit or a little bit more than a little bit according to your taste just to make it that much nicer give it that slightly you know type ferment taste um and it is lovely i'm telling you guys it is lovely if you can buy some tamarinds and try this tamarind punch i guarantee you you will not be dissatisfied now i want you to go ahead and do something for me if you learn something or whether or not you learn something can you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button also like share 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 my videos and leave me a comment if you have any suggestions as to a video that you would like me to do please do so in the comment section and as usual thank you for watching